Welcome back to the custom NPC tutorial series. In this episode, we will be going over the display tab in the NPC editor. First off, right click the NPC with the NPC wand to bring up the editor, or select and edit the NPC while viewing surrounding NPCs. At the top here, you can type in a name for the NPC, and below it you can set a title for the NPC. This will show up below the NPC name. Over here you can toggle whether the name is always shown, hidden, or only shown when attacking. Clicking the edit button next to model will bring up the parts list. Select a part and options will show up on the right here so you can customize them. You can change the type of the part here, you can change the color of it with this color picker, toggling player skin to yes means it will try to find a texture to map onto the model from the skin loaded into the NPC. Over here in the bottom right, you can rotate the NPC model to get a better look at different angles. Most of these parts are self-explanatory, but I will go over the eyes. Eyes will be overlaid on the NPC texture and will blink. There are two types, the 1 pixel high and 2 pixels high. Setting it to none will get rid of the eyes. Changing the color will change the color of the iris. You cannot change the color of the white. Here at draw you can toggle if both eyes are drawn, if only the left eye is drawn, or if only the right eye is drawn. Because skins are different, you can offset vertically where the eyes will be drawn to by changing the position. Toggling glint will get rid of the shiny texture on the eye. You can change the color of the eyebrows here. This number changes how thick the eyebrow is. When the NPC blinks, it overlays the eye with the color defined here like an eyelid. Going to scale will show us a list of body parts on the NPC. If we click one, we have sliders here to make it wider, longer, or thicker. In arms and legs, you can toggle shared to off if you want each individual arm and leg to have different scales. If you go to entities, you can change the NPC model to be any Minecraft mob, including those from mods. There are also some different humanoid models here. Alex skin is for NPCs using an Alex skin format, and 64x32 are for loading a 64x32 skin. You can't edit the parts for any other model except for NPC, but it still saves the parts you modified, and will show up on other NPC models. Some models will make an extras button appear, which gives you different poses or settings for the model. Down here is a save button. You can save all of the changes you made here as a preset. Then, when making a new NPC, You can click load and load the preset. To the right of the edit button, you can change the size of the NPC. It can be any number between 1 and 30. Here is where you select what texture the NPC has. Click select and it will bring you to the list of texture assets in Minecraft. It defaults to the human male entity textures But if you click up, you can look at other categories from custom NPCs. You can keep clicking up until you reach the assets folder, but you can browse any of these folders and look for textures. I will show you how to add custom textures in the resource pack video. 
If you click this button, you will toggle it to player. Here, you can type the name of a player and it will pull that player's skin and use it on the NPCs. Click it again to toggle it to URL. Here, you can type in the image link for a texture and the NPC will try to load it. If you're on skindex.com, you can click image link for the correct URL. But you can right click on any image online, click copy image address, and paste it and the NPC will load it. Over here at Cape, if you select a texture, the cape will show up on the NPC using that texture. If you select a texture for overlay, it will overlay that texture on top of the NPC. This texture follows the player skin format. When living animation is on, the NPC will have a slight sway to their limbs. When it is turned off, they will be motionless. If you type in the hex value of a color here at tint, it will tint the NPC that color. When visible is set to yes, the NPC is, well, visible. When set to no, it's not visible. When set to partially, the NPC is mostly transparent, but you can still slightly see them. If an NPC is set to not be visible, holding out the wand will make them partially visible so you can find them and edit them. Over here at Interactable, or in Intractable as Nope seems to like to call it, when this is set to no, the NPC cannot be right clicked on at all, even with the NPC wand. You'll have to right click the air to edit the NPC. This is to make statues and things that cannot be messed with. Boss Bar. When set to show, the NPC's health will be displayed at the top in a boss bar. When set to show when attacking, it will only appear when the NPC is attacking. When set to hide, it doesn't show up. And right next to it, you can change the color of the boss bar. A max of six boss bars can be shown for NPCs at the same time. And that is every feature of the display tab. In the next episode, we will be going over the stats tab. Thanks for watching.